Hello everybody, welcome back to 10 Minute Reviews. Jason here bringing you today's video. So real fast, I don't want to make this too long for an intro, so I'm going to try and compress it. Thank you very much to our fans. Thank you very much to our patrons. Don't forget to check the links down below for links to today's book and other applicable links. And uh, don't forget to check the end of the videos for details on our contest. I'm going to be running a contest on the main channel and I'm going to have a couple of contests on the Patreon. So don't forget to check that as well. Got a bunch of signed books and stuff that I want to give away. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and jump straight into today's video. Don't forget to check those links down below, guys. Got more information down there. Catch you soon. So for today's video, I want to talk about a book that has been out for quite a long time. Uh, it's a fantastic book. I probably should have talked about it before. And an author that many of you already know. I don't know if I should call this science fiction or urban fantasy. Probably closer to urban fantasy. But I want to talk about Monster Hunter International, Monster Hunters International Book 1 by Larry Correa. This is a, this is a cool freaking book. This is a cool book. It's a lot of fun to read. Korea writes his characters really well, and he writes his dialogue really, really well as, as well. There's, there's, it, it's snappy. It's kind of smart-assy, kind of smarmy, which most of you guys know is pretty much in line with me. Um, but it's just, it's a fun read. It's a fun read. It's fun, you know, the, the conversations these characters have and stuff like that. It's a lot of fun. But the book overall is, is a blast, which is why it became a fairly large series, just because of how awesome of a book it is. And of course, how great of an author Larry Correa is. So this book, Monster Hunters International, focuses on Owen Pitt. Owen Pitt, who is interesting in that he is he is both kind of boring. He's an accountant by trade, and also the typical kind of you end up rolling your eyes trope that a lot of um, that, that so many books have of this boring person with the, this elite set of skills. So he is a Jake is, like I said, he's an accountant, but he's a big dude. He's a big dude. He's in shape. He's studied martial arts for uh, a significant portion of his life. He's been a, his father was special forces. He's and trained so and basically trained him. So he was a competitive shooter in three gun shooting and an elite competitive shooter in three gun shooting and martial artist, mixed martial artist, a fighter. So basically, we've got our accountant character that is the whole hidden badass uh, with elite skills that so many books do. Um, but aside from that, and one other fairly minor thing, the the book itself is absolutely awesome. So Owen is introduced, it's it's typical typical setting of, of modern times with the whole hidden supernatural world. And Owen gets introduced to this when his boss tries to kill him. Um, now, of course, his boss is a werewolf when he tries to kill him, and somehow Owen survives that, which is how he gets introduced to two different things. Well, three different things if you count the hospital. Uh, two different things. He gets introduced to Monster Hunters International as they are a private company that does, that, that hunts supernatural monsters, um, and they've been doing it for a long time, and they actually get federal money. They basically get paid for the monsters that they take down. He also gets introduced to the actual federal agency that does the same thing, because they are waiting to kill him, because if he shows any signs of turning into a uh, werewolf himself, he'll be done. Naturally, he doesn't, because otherwise it would be a really short book. And, of course, he ends up joining Monster Hunters International, because why not? And that's where things really, really start to get weird and really start to take off. We, we get a little bit of a, uh, some broad brushstrokes of his training, his, his introduction to Monster Hunters International, his teammates, his training teammates, and people that he likes, people he doesn't like, people he gets along with, people he does not get along with, people he hates, people who get him. And for the most part, he is just... Uh, comes across kind of as as your your top of the class sort of student. Now there are a few other things that are already starting to show up. You you start seeing that he has some broader connections to the supernatural world for reasons, and those reasons kind of get explained as you go through the book. In a way, it's also a lot of it's set up for. I mean, the, the main part of this is is absolutely finished, but then there's some setup for for the next book and for the books on on down the line as far as as Owen's connections, how he's connected to to the greater monster world, and why he can do things that others 
struggle with or why he sees things. And that's the biggest thing. He's having these visions. He's having these visions that are pointing towards this great, uber-powerful entity that is trying, basically, Cthulhu, well, not, not Cthulhu himself, but basically this other world, great, other dimensional, eldritch horror type of being that that is going to try and invade the world. And he is getting these visions of, he's getting these visions of both the past, the last time anything connected with this being was a major player on Earth, and what is going on now. And through this, he has to learn more about the history of Monster Hunters International, history of Earth and its supernatural side of things. And amongst us, we also have the, the romance plot. And this is the other part of the book that I absolutely hated. This was another one of those introduce this character, they're around this character, and suddenly they're just madly in love with each other. Like, they they don't interact all that much in the grand scheme of things. She actually has a boyfriend, of course, Jake hates, and of course hates Jake, and then for reasons they're, they kind of... But, you know, they, they meet, he's just basically, you know, puppy crush, obsessed with her, and... They interact a few times, and then, I mean, I love you, I love you too. It just it made me roll my eyes. But outside of their interactions, the whole, the whole rest of the book, phenomenal. Phenomenal. Incredible. Incredible. Book two is just as good, but I mean, uh, this is one of those series. You've got to read book one first. And if you're a fan of, of, uh, of uh, urban fantasy and, and uh, books along those lines, and you haven't read Monster Hunters International, you really have to. It's just, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, go check it out. There's a reason it's kind of a, a classic within the genre, and there's a reason that Larry Korea is 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 such a a, a well-known author within science fiction and fantasy. Just because one, he's a great writer and he writes great stuff, and this is one of his great stuff kind of things. Go check it out, everybody. Thank you for watching. We will catch you guys next time. Bye now. Welcome back. So for our contests. So for the contest here on the main channel, I'm going to be running two contests for this month. The contest will end at the end of April. Just email me at reviewsintent at gmail.com. Put contest in the subject line so I do not skip past it. I do get a lot of emails. And I'm actually going to be running two contests. Email me for the first contest. Email me your suggestions for four categories of books. Doesn't, you don't have to send me four suggestions. Some people don't read certain categories, and that is certainly fine. Just email me your suggestions of books that I have not reviewed. Uh, doesn't mean I haven't read them, but that I have not reviewed in four genres. Sci-fi, lit RPG, cultivation, and the harem lit. Of course, there's I'm missing fantasy, but that comes up a lot with cultivation and with lit rpg and with the hamlet so i'm just kind of leaving that one out and i will pick of my favorites out of that i will pick a winner and i have a signed copy of uh advent nine by uh t allen horn and that will be going to that winner i do actually have a bunch of books for uh, uh for further contests as well but it's a signed copy of advent nine by t allen horn that i will send out to the winner and the second contest going on on the main channel is uh, pick a book. Pick a book that, uh, that you've read that I have not reviewed and email me a, a quick little personal review. If you can talk me into reading that book, the winner of that one will receive a signed copy of J.J. Thorne's Apocalypse Assassin, right? Yeah, Apocalypse Assassin, which I have. I've reviewed this one. I've also reviewed Admit 9. Um, so, again, put contest in the subject line. And if you're interested in, uh, in maybe getting a complete set of Mickey Carres or uh, the um, Heavy Weight of It All book one, also signed, uh, check out our Patreon. I've got two contests that will be going on on there as well. Thanks, everybody. Hope you guys enjoy the videos. And don't forget to email me. Bye now.